Hi, I'm Lauren Eldahar. Lately, I've been seeing a lot of people moving here from out of state with the idea to live in Fort Lauderdale. But when they get down to the nitty gritty of deciding where to live in South Florida, they realize they just want to be near Fort Lauderdale. Maybe living in Fort Lauderdale is too expensive or you want more space or the schools aren't a good fit for your family. In that case, I made this video of my five favorite places to live outside of Fort Lauderdale. And before we get to that, how about you like this video just in case you don't like my picks. First up is Lauderdale by the Sea. If you're not familiar, it's located just north of Fort Lauderdale, all the way at the end of Commercial Boulevard. I recommend this area because I find that it looks like what a lot of people expect Fort Lauderdale to look like. It looks like Fort Lauderdale did a lot of years ago, and we call it Old Florida, um, and that's not a bad thing. It's incredibly charming, it has a small town feel, and that's because Lauderdale by the Sea isn't exactly high-rise friendly. The city has height restrictions that limit building heights to four stories tall. There have been some lawsuits against the city that, of course, as a lawyer, I love reading about, but you probably don't care about. So just know that you will see a few high rises in the city's bounds, but not very many. It is also Florida's beach diving capital with a lot of snorkeling and diving that take place right off the shore. If you're wondering what it costs to live here, here's an idea for you. Now, let's bring it back. I feel like I'm doing, was that the cha-cha slide? Bring it back now, y'all. I don't know if I remember how to do that. I haven't been to a wedding in so long. Dana Beach also has an old Florida feel to it, though it's getting a little built up now, but it's a cool little town that has a bunch of antique shops and they're kind of fun to go treasure hunting in. And it also has Jackson's Ice Cream, which is an old fashioned ice cream parlor that has been there forever and it's a must try. They have this thing called the kitchen sink where they actually serve you a kitchen sink filled with ice cream. I know ice cream isn't a reason to move somewhere, but it's not not a reason to move somewhere. Dania Beach also has some beautiful walking trails and paths that link up to the Hollywood Beach Boardwalk. And there's always people out there walking, skating, biking up this path right by all the restaurants and bars and hotels. And at night, there's always live music outside at this little outdoor amphitheater thing that's right next to Margaritaville Beach Resort. This area definitely feels like it's five o'clock somewhere, but all the time. Now, if that's a bit much for you, try the centrally located city of Plantation. I know the name leaves a little bit to be desired, but it's located right off of 595 near the airport. It's not far from all the happenings of Fort Lauderdale. And in the past years, it's been a growing area. We've seen developers pouring money and resources into this area and it's blown up with new condos and high rises, but the regular neighborhoods are pretty gorgeous too. This city is also close to colleges like Nova Southeastern University and Broward College, and it has tons of lower school options as well. Now, for my last two recommendations, if you like what you're hearing about going a little west of Fort Lauderdale, come west to Parkland and Coral Springs. I talk a lot about these cities on this channel because I live out here and I love it. I've moved away and tried some other places and I've come back. It's perfect for me. It's quiet, but it's not too quiet. It's fun, but it's not too fun. Um, it's got a good mix of people, shopping and dining. And don't worry, just because it's not right next to the water doesn't mean we don't have water. These two cities are littered with water parks and resort style pools. So check out more of my videos on the channel with all the details on these places. And hopefully this video will give you some ideas of places to check out that you've never thought of. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions.